Well, I had to go to Houston for a family emergency, but on my way there, I watched a lot of UFC videos, so I wanted to make a UFC video, and I watched a lot of boxing stuff. First things first, I wanted to give a shout out to Amanda Nunes. She knocked the crap out of Ronda Rousey. I mean, congratulations, even though I still like Ronda Rousey. Amanda Nunes was not shy about her victory. She was um, saying that Ronda Rousey was not a real fighter. Basically, Ronda Rousey is mentally broke right now. At least for when it comes to elite fighting. Judging from what I have seen, Amanda Nunes can hit like a man. And basically, she wants everybody to shut up about the whole Ronda Rousey hype and that she's the real fighter. She did take down Misha Tate, who took down Holly Holmes, who took down Ronda Rousey. So there it is. Throughout this video, I'm going to be showing clips of my trip and boxing clips and um, UFC stuff, basically pictures. Ronda Rousey, though, should have no worries. I mean, she made three million. Amanda Nunes only got 100,000, and she's the champ. So I can understand why Amanda is so mad. As far as movies go, though, I heard that Ronda Rousey um, at a movie called Mile 22 or 22 Miles, something like that, that it's getting canceled or it's getting put on hold. But let's face it, she has enough money to retire on. A lot of respect, well, um, was lost for the her coach, her, the man named Edmund. I don't know that much about the man, so I can't really say too much about him. But if he coached Ronda to try to strike it out with Amanda, that was just a big, big mistake. As for Misha Tate, she went on to commentary after being after her loss to Amanda Nunes. Personally, I think Misha Tate was the prettiest one, the best one. Then we also have Holly Holm, who's fighting in a new featherweight heavy um, featherweight division. I believe that she'll be dominant in that division, and will get the championship belt. As you can see, why I like Misha Tate so much, she looks like a really down ass chick. The women's UFC is my favorite part of the UFC. I also wanted to mention a little bit about uh, boxing and UFC being compared and I just wanted to explain that they're two different things, they're two different sports, they're not the same thing. MMA rules the octagon and the boxing rules the ring. Dana White said that Conor McGregor can beat Floyd Mayweather in a street fight, but I just wanted to say that a street fight's a little more dirtier, it doesn't have rules. But the odds would be in uh, Connor's favor due to the fact that it is more like a street fight with the MMA, but it is not 100% a street fight. Then there's boxing, Floyd Mayweather, Adrian Broner, they're both uh, talking about training celebrities. Mayweather's talking about training Soldier Boy, and Chris Brown is training with Adrian Broner. But I just recently saw on DJ Academics that Soldier Boy was backing out of the fight. He was claiming that his mom's sick and that he's tired of the drama. But I honestly, I don't believe much he says because he's in so much drama. I think Chris Brown would beat his ass just because he seems like he's in way more shape. I've seen him play basketball and he can play some ball. Soldier Boy just doesn't come off as the skillful type. But I, I do hope they fight for sure because both of them are getting in so much dumb shit. They need to just do it. I also saw a video where 50 Cent was talking about promoting the fight. Also, um, he's probably with Floyd Mayweather though because you know they're buddies. I'm sure they got over their differences. Adrian Broner could easily lose his shine, especially with big stars like Mayweather and 50 Cent and then there's Soldier Boy and Chris Brown. As for the Mayweather and the Connor fight, uh, this would define the sport. It would just, you know, explain to people that boxing's one sport and MMA is another sport and that they shouldn't even be side to side. They're two different sports. In a way, this fight would define the sport. So a quick re recap. Basically, they're all still rich, and you're probably not as rich as them. Hit me up on Twitter at Movie Critic, where the Movie Critic's spelled together. Also, Instagram at Movie Critic 777. YouTube, Movie Critic spelled together. Reddit, Movie Critic spelled together 77. And hit that like button.
Come for me, 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 Bitch, I wake up and get straight to the money. Don't take it personal. Always on time, never late to the money. Don't take it personal. If it ain't about the profit, then just change the subject. Don't take it personal. Cut that bitch back, ain't no taking it from me. Don't take it personal. Cup inside a cup, you know my shit muddy. Got a super wet, I know.